In startup business circles, we often talk about moving fast and breaking things to disrupt the status quo and make transformational change. In healthcare, some argue that you can't move fast and break things because if you do, bad things will happen. People will die, data will get hacked, and so on. So are we forever destined to move slow and not break anything in healthcare? And is that okay? Around mid-March of 2021, I posted this exact question on LinkedIn. The response I received was much greater than I expected. The post had over 4,000 views at the time of this recording and 27 comments. And they weren't just short, yeah, no, I agree type comments. There was genuine thought-provoking content in there. So in this bonus episode of Talking Health Tech just for THT Plus members, I thought I'd summarize some of those comments and perspectives because together, the collective view of all individuals responding to this question has given me much greater clarity around the challenges and opportunities of operating as a startup tech company in healthcare. So I want to share it with all of you and hopefully you find it helpful as well. A big shout out to everyone who helped contribute to this episode. Many of them are THT Plus members like Steve Macaronis, Dr. Jazz Saini, Rebecca Glover, Marcus Wilson, Zara Lord, Nathan Moore, and Warwick Donaldson. But also to others who might soon become THT Plus members like Ross Hardy, Dr. Nick Tellis, Kirsten Noakes, Shari Johnson, Brett Watson, Demogen Smith, David Martin, Wayne Chong, and David Darm. Thanks for providing your thoughts, which help shape this bonus episode just for THT Plus members today. So let's dissect what the hive mind of LinkedIn thinks about moving slow and not breaking anything in healthcare. Let's make it happen. Welcome to Talking Health Tech with Peter.